Welcome to Bertie Middle East. This is CPA video series. Today we are going to discuss the corporate capital structure and this is the fourth lecture for our BEC subject. Broadly we are going to discuss the bonds, equity, dividend policy, leasings, cost of capital for the current uh, situation and uh, for any additional issuance of cost of capital we will discuss the implications in generally when owners make a company they put some money this money is called capital now we have certain options how to do business and how to get the money from the market first simple and old way is you take your own money and you invest in the business this is your own capital but then when you grow your business you develop the concept of a company which is owned by a shareholder run by the management stand alone unit will work for himself and for himself so it comes okay you don't have even your own money you should arrange money from somewhere the other conventional method is you go to a bank you take the loan this is one way this is liability when you take a loan it becomes your liability what bank will do bank will take money from the public maybe on uh, a surety of 5% to give them return and they will give the money who are looking for like we are looking for money on 12% 13% so means 7% they make the profit profit straight away with some additional cost they have of course and if this was the income the difference of 12% minus 5% is their income then they have certain expenses when they will deduct they will get the profit but surely you you can feel that if the bank can take money from the public and give it to us why can't we take directly from the public it's an advantage yes for public as well and for us as well we can offer public 9% so this give a concept of bonds bond is a liability on the company or you heard about debentures same shape, shape another name bonds fixed liability directly to the public we we promise them this is the bond this is 5 year 3 year 5 years whatever this interest rate is the fixed we will pay you and this is the majority period so this is a concept in which emerges you to think about do you put your own money you take you need loan from the bank this is your liability and then the one option with you is to it's your own money then you one option is you take money from the public and the third option with you is you go to stock exchange and you sell yourself means sell your ownership right you 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 can see this is your capital these are your assets stock exchange will tell you the underwriters the listing companies that this is the worth of your stock and then you will sell it in the market and you and me you can buy and we will become the owner of the company because shareholder are the owners of the company so it's a choice if you want to sell your ownership you go for stock exchange you don't want to sell your ownership neither you don't want to go your to a bank because you feel that bank is not so justified in terms of transferring the benefit so you go to the public in terms of bonds debentures or some short term and long term uh, arrangements for the returns or credit number right 
So we will discuss bonds, we will discuss equity, then we will, equity is the another name of the capital which has broadly two types, one is ordinary, one is preference. In derivatives, we will discuss the, it's a financial instrument which secures us for the future transactions. It happens, uh, in fact, for an economic activity. And we will discuss the options into it. We will discuss the call option, put options, and call put parity theorem the, the we have to discuss. Other sources of long-term finance could be a lease. It could, it could be a, a warrant. It can be a redeemable instrument, this we will discuss. Cost of capital, as I told you before, this is in which we are going to discuss what is the owner cost uh, to issue his capital and uh, uh, for the current and for the new means if we go for a new stock stock accumulation uh, new capital so this will be taken as marginal capital and marginal will be taken as additional additional cost of capital is always higher than the normal capital so always natural default risk is there taxability of the instrument is another issue in the US, if you issue shares, tax is very high. This is called equity financing. Equity financing is a process to get money or finances by issuing your common stock or preference stock, which is in US, is subject to high taxation. That's why equity financing is considered most expensive in the US. Anyone will go, will go for this option in the least cases, not as a priority. So what left? Next is debt finance. Debt is a word sh showing the liability. Any liability which the company takes on his shoulder for any period of time become your debt financing you get money from fixed liabilities short term or no. long term this kind of financing is subject to tax exemptions which is which generates more benefit for in comparison to the equity finance so most of the companies prefer to go for a debt financing Bonds are the form of debts because they create long term or short term liability for the company. When you go to a showroom to buy a car, in fact you are going for a car financing which is called as debt finance. Right? Whatever personal loans you are creating debt for you. So, uh, you have to see the tax issue, then callability of the issue. Call means call option. Call option is you sell something to someone and you keep an option to call it back. Uh, last is sinking fund provisions. You cannot issue bonds as a company if you don't keep the money in a reserve account called sinking fund provisional account. This is by the SEC, Securities Exchange and Commission, uh, USA, they imposed certain restriction before you go for a, so they made it compulsory that before issuing some bonds and getting the money, you have to create a separate account in which you will keep the money or the funds to pay the payments, interest payments and as a provision. Then what are the aspects of the bond? A bond is a formal contractual obligation to pay an amount of money called the par value, maturity or face amount to the holder at a certain date. It may be one year, two year, five year, ten years. If it is a country bond, it may be twenty years. All of the terms of the agreement are stated in a document called as indenture. 
then it's really the expense of this process is really worth filed for the bond within within with majority of less than five years. It's an expensive exercise. You cannot issue bond directly. You print something and you issue no. You have to go to underwriters. They will write your bonds, legality, cost per documents, listing, issuance, compliance, legal fee. This all is a complex procedure to do. But in comparison, as I told you, the equity financing, this is still cheaper option to get the money from the public. 